uh, first of all congratulations and my best wishes for having attended uh, seven days on this final day of this uh, program. I hope you all have uh, enjoyed your stay and the session in SRM. Uh, SRM are very uh, happy and you know particular about you know uh, giving more opportunities and also my best wishes for uh, Supraja. You all know she's quite young. She had challenges when she took over this. Obviously, you know, when young people take over, there are many seniors who will try to, you know, say what can yeah, someone do. But she has not only done it good, but I think she has excelled or gone par excellence in what we have to do. Because I always tell my students, it is not good, you know, that you do something, you know, uh, and achieve it you should go beyond excellence in achieving it. That is what I think should be the core focus of uh, UHV also. That is, you know, exploring yourself and achieving uh, the greatest, not only for self, uh, but I think it is for the common good also. When, when you all speak, I understand how it has enabled you to be more good. Similarly, I think it should be of use for the common good. So if you take the students as such, see, uh, I control the SRM students in all aspects, almost all campuses, we have more than one lakh students. But you know, the problems today's generation face, right? So there are times I feel whether there are still values existing. There are students who feel whether they can exhibit values. When they want to exhibit values, they are being shunned. I can give a lot of cases. They have been mocked at. They will see if, hundred, if 10 are going, if 9 are smoking, and 1 is not smoking, the 1 is isolated. The 1 is criticized. You know, this leads to a lot of problem. And when AICT introduced this, when first time when we are discussing with her, I was really happy that finally we have touched the core issue which we haven't been touching. Yes, that is what I, I was very happy because whatever you say when you go for education, it's of no use when you don't touch the basic. So even in cricket, when you say, you know, whenever when somebody achieves what they say, they say, because I have been with uh, sports, I'm into sports medicine. When I have talked with all cricket stars, they wonder if you follow the basic, you will reach the higher. You, without basic, you cannot do. So when they touch the core issue of this, how now faculties are getting trained, even at this age, at this experience, when you find that you can redefine yourself, imagine what a young student of this generation needs. Yes or no? This generation of student, what they need? They need this very, very, very badly. And my observation on the faculties who get trained through UHV is the approach of the faculty towards the student is different. See, remember, like poles attract each other, right? So a student is in anger, a faculty cannot be in anger. There comes a rift, there comes a problem, there will be an escalation of the problem. But when uh, a faculty who undergoes a training like this, I have seen their approach is more empathetic, their approach is, you know, of, you know, uh, of good value, that even though a student might be naughty or, you know, something, by, during the course of time, they're able to come back to the stream. So, these programs, these trainings are very important, but on the long run, I personally feel it has to be uh, percolated to the student level. At least, I was telling to Supraja, see, at least one minimum day they should be made to sit like this, you know, make them feel relaxed, open their mouth, talk, come out, understand exactly what they are supposed to understand. Yes, we are busy, we have a lot of things, but we should find time to take this. And I was telling her, we'll support you in everything. Maybe we are going to 
uh, experiment with one single session right with uh, the students because uh, at the end of it uh, that's what i always tell in all my talks see without a patient there is no hospital there is no doctor so without a student there is no professor there is no university there is no aict nothing a student is the central to the process of any education be it school education or be it higher education so how we touch the core issue of human values i feel in an education uh, system the core person or the center of the whole process is a student and it, when we can reach this it becomes a common good uh, what we learn is not kept to ourselves but when we go you know and empower a student to become more responsible you know more uh, you know uh, uh, that he should be learning to accept everything and wherein a student you know each one teach one with that principle you know when they can you know go and get a change among the mentality of the student because in today's generation i need not say that you all know enjoying is life is what they think and that to enjoying in bad uh, you know uh, companies and bad habits is what is you know taking our complete generation so it is complete india you know it is going there are a lot of things happening behind there are a lot of plots from our competitor countries when i was talking with uh, some high defense people they were telling me it's a ploy from china to destabilize our young people because india has the most highest number of you know working age group you know from that 15 to 45 so we are going to be a developed nation for sure because i am a great proponent of this vikshit bharat uh, which i'm taking very in a very high way you know we are trying to you know we have to you know achieve the developed status of our nation so for that to happen you know we have you know there should be a change in the mentality of the students and that can happen you know when we all uh, you know cooperate and have a goal or a purpose in achieving and that achievement as a common good i think will completely change the sphere of education thank you all for giving me this opportunity and i think uh, you will enjoy this and further uh, you know bigger things of uhv will happen and request the aict members observers to go and kindly you know recommend that uh, see because there is an intention there is that energy there is the willingness that srm wants to scale it up higher and we require all the support and also thank all the outsiders from different states who have come here thank you for having coming here i hope you all are enjoying thank you each one is you know one of the uh, pieces of that or strategy for that so you you can get an opinion from here as to what they think very you know very briefly what they think is it possible what do you think <laughs> is it possible is it desirable yes you know it is possible it is achievable yes on what basis are you saying that <laughs> because uh, it is the content is meaningful for me and i see where i have to reach and i will be successful only when i reach there i want to be happy that is my uh, goal so for that this is helping me and if it is helping me then it will also be same for all human being so that's on the basis of that so can you see a shift in your uh, your world vision your perspective so your dream uh, 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 sir with your permission i add one more sir yeah each one teach one that refers to geology i got it i give you you give it to somebody the ultimate goal is to see everybody in a happy harmonious making this place a place where there is completeness we added one more thing each one plant one to protect the environment we have uh, adult 
rhetorician programs, adult education, and this each one teach one, especially we concentrated on women education in the villages, those who are deprived of the educations. Like that way programs I developed, let my colleague, my fellow human being also develop, I contribute what I, AHV gave it to me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would like to experiment only with the most naughty first. <laughs> because in my experience, what I have seen is most of the naughty people, you know, they go up to make it to be big. See, actually, I represent our country in the world body of student affairs. I'm the country head of uh, India. So uh, many of my students, you know, when I give the letter of recommendation, they get admissions in US and U Europe very easily. So this time, like many are going. So most of the students who haven't done much, so that's what I tell them. See, you need not be academically great, but you should be good student. So that is what in our deliberations, you know, in the, in the world body advisory board, when you speak, no one wants, uh, you know, academically, you know, superior student. They only want a good student who will not be a potential, uh, you know, terrorist or a troublemaker in the new land where they go. So, this is the most important. So, whenever uh, we speak uh, with the students, you know, see, actually, see, like how uh, you all have, uh, I think you all have a change of mind even after one day of a session. Imagine a student. We can easily, you know, uh, if we guide them in the proper way, they are the most easiest and they will be the most strongest in the principles, you know, if they adopt it. That's what once uh, it, uh, what we have found. And uh, as uh, the, I think uh, when he was talking, yeah, see, actually, finally, even for you, I feel the final outcome for you is it's not only realizing yourself, you know, more than that. The greatest satisfaction what you all will get is when you, when if you can inspire one student or a 10 or 100 student, I think that will give you most happiness than you, uh, you know, finding about yourself. Yes or no? Because I have found that when we can get somebody onto the right track, in front of our eyes, when we are seeing somebody is just going astray, when we can just get them back, that, that type of an happiness is more than the happiness what I derive if I personally also, you know, try to change myself. So that's what I was, I'm trying to impress upon you that the common good that is here, the context is for me, it's my student. That is a common good. For example, SR on, on a total, we have one lakh uh, students, you know. It's a great number if you can inspire that. In each of your universities, if you inspire, you know, uh, it, it becomes a great value addition to our nation first. Ours is a great nation, right? I have traveled to many countries. I have worked in many countries. But today, I've decided to be in my country because our nation, I cannot find some, you know, country like India, you know. So, I'm a great proponent uh, uh, of uh, this. I love my country. So, I would like my students to love my country. And I want everyone to have a vision to make our country great. And like, you know, already we are, you know, a great country. You know, we are, our workforce is, you know, going everywhere. Maybe in another 50 years, they're pro proposing, you know, 25 to 40 percent of the whole world workforce will be from India. So, when our workforce goes outside, with, with you know, values. Uh, with values, imagine, as you said, the world, you know, maybe people might think, is it possible? He said, really, it is possible. Because whenever we go to achieve something, only when we think it's possible. If we, can, if we go to Olympics and say, it is not possible, we cannot achieve. It is possible. Everything is possible. But maybe we may not reach the perfection at the time what we think. But reaching or achieving something is possible. So, I'd request, you know, all of you, even in your own universities, to please, you know, uh, get this percolated into your student community also. It's the most important, I feel. This is the homework that is being done. Thank you so much. And there are a number of university coordinators over here number of faculty members over here, core group members over here. So your dream is our dream and we are taking it forward.